<laughs> Great cause. Make sure and get out and check that one out. Shifting gears now, the Scenic City Women's Network here in Hamilton County is the coordinator for Patriot Day of Prayer. It's coming up in September. We have a couple of ladies who are going to tell us more about that. Renee Nail and Sally Worland. Ladies, good morning to you both. Good Where morning. does your position come into play with this? Well, I'm president of the board, and as such, part of the committee that is planning this event. And we're very excited to have been asked to be a sponsor of Patriots Day. And what about you? Same question. Yes, I'm, Ren I'm the executive director for Scenic City Women's Network, right. and we've been honored to be able to take this position and run with it. It's part of the National Day of Prayer Task Force. Exactly what's going to happen that day. There's a lot more than just prayer that goes on. Right. Fill us in. We're going to have, at 10 o'clock, we'll have a prayer walk that actually walks through the city and prays for our city from like Missionary Ridge all the way through throughout the city and uh, prays for our leaders and for our business people and for our citizens. Then at 12 o'clock noon, uh, at the Hamilton County Courthouse, we will have a program uh, where Mayor Coppinger will actually welcome us there mm -hmm. and we'll present the flag and then we will pray for our first responders who are actually on the front lines right now, even out in Houston, and uh, then also pray for the military who are also on the front lines, the uh, National Guards out there in, in, in Houston. So we'll pray for everybody that makes our nation great. How many people are you hoping to show up for this? Well, we really don't have a, a number that we're shooting for per se, but we hope that we will have at least 100 plus people on the lawn mm -hmm. in addition to all the participants that will be there. And we're so excited because we've got some military, we have the uh, representative of the police department, mm -hmm. we have the sheriff's department, as well as a host of ministers. We have some special music planned. And in addition to that, we will have Joe, Reverend Joe Novison uh, with a message also that day. So it's going to be a really, really uh, special day for us because this will be the first time that we've actually been a part of uh, actually planning the event. And so for us, um, it's it's just exciting to see how we, both as a community, uh, both city and county, as well as an organization, are coming forth to promote and to honor these men who sacrifice for us day in and day out at all levels. What do you say to the people to, to cross the bridge to, to get over that divide that say, yeah, we don't need prayer? which mm. I'm not among them, but you know mm. you're going to run into that because everybody's so culturally sensitive these days mm. and prayer That's might true. offend so-and-so, wah, wah, wah. What do mm -hmm. you say to those people? Well, of course, they have their right to participate or not to participate. Mm -hmm. We are ecumenical, and so we are non-denominational. We are not attached to a church, and everybody is welcome to come or not to come. So that's, it's, it's their choice. Yeah, because this is really an event to honor these men and women who are out there as first responders or out there in the mil a military capacity and or, uh, you know, in the police and fire. So mm -hmm. first and foremost, it is about honoring and thanking them. And then it's also an opportunity to pray for them. And so first and foremost, when you talk about that divide, I think that you need to be aware that this is, in fact, a day of thanks. It is going to be a moment whereby we stop and say thank you to these right. men and women. And I think that's something we don't do right. frequently enough. Right. Exactly. They do not get the recognition. And not that they're asking for it, but it, again, for the number of times that they put their lives on the line. We look right now at what's going on in Texas, and Tennessee is one of the first states that mm -hmm. has sent volunteers, who sure. has sent people there. And that's what the United States is about. That's what this city is about. It is about coming together in times of hardship, whereby we, we um, pull together both as individuals as well right. as with all of these volunteers in their so-called professional capacity and what they do to make sure that um, you know, you're safe. Yeah. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a thank lot you. more than 100 people turn out for this Me fabulous too. event. It's the Patriot Day of Prayer coming up Monday, September the 11th. Prayer walk at 1030. The Patriot Day program itself begins at noon. Check out the website scwn.org for more information. Right around the corner, big details on the Bethlehem Center Job Fair. We're also going to be telling you about some great health programs going on at Erlanger. Stick around as we continue with more of Let's Chat.